All right, so what do you do when you have a bigger system that has pounds of refrigerant and not ounces? Well, you use the push-pull liquid recovery method, and it is much quicker than your vapor recovery method, although you do have to use the vapor recovery method later on in this process. So what you can do is you can hook the system up so that the recovery unit can push the liquid into the recovery tank, um, and then later on you can hook it up to the vapor and pull uh, do the vapor setup and pull the vapor out of the system. Okay, so here is the setup. Let me change the color here so we can see just a little bit better what we're talking about. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to hook up your manifold gauge sets just like we did um, in the vapor in the previous video. Uh, the power is off. Your recovery tank is on the scales. and But this time you're going to hook up your charging or your, your recovery hose from the manifold gauge set here to the outlet of the the recovery machine and then on the inlet you're going to hook up to the vapor side of the recovery cylinder then from the recovery cylinder you're going to take another hose and you're going to hook it up to the re uh, receive receiver and then you're going to make sure that the king valve on the receiver is open to allow that refrigerant to flow so when you you'll have both of these uh, both of the valves are closed on your manifold gauge set and then you are going to turn on your recovery machine and open up the high side and what that's going to do is the discharge pressure from pressure from the compressor on the recovery machine is going to go through the manifold gauge set and into the high side of the system and it's going to pressurize the high side of the system through the condenser coil pressurize the receiver and it's going to push the liquid that's in the receiver out and into the recovery machine and that is how you have that is how you are going to recover the liquid from the system we'll take a look at that again so this is your basic setup and the discharge pressure pressure from the recovery unit is going to go through your manifold gauge through the open high side gauge into the high side of your refrigeration system through the condenser coil it's going to pressurize the receiver which will push the liquid refrigerant out of the receiver and into our recovery cylinder here notice that we have our low side gauge is closed at this time so once you have the majority of the refrigerant pushed out of the system with the with the push-pull method then you're going to want to reconnect into the vapor method like we looked at earlier and recover the vapor from the remaining vapor from the system and then you'll be able to open up the system and replace components as necessary